The Commerce Tigers and the Green County Tigers for the 1981 State Football Championship. Hal Am, David Thomas, Terry Howard, Greg Davis, Brian Hill, Tim Pritchett, Nathan Anderson, Brett and Bart Haggard, Daniel Ford, Rodney Bell, Tim Seaboat, Vaughn Howington, Todd Lord, Clark Williams, Clay Hendricks, and Bobby Lamb, just to name a few of the players that had a lot to do with the Commerce Tigers bringing home the state championship in 1981. The cheerleaders sign said, let's go out in a blaze of glory, and that's exactly what the Commerce Tigers did, winning the state championship game 28 to 14. The following is a recap of the 1981 Class AA State Football Championship game. The Commerce Tigers won the toss. They elected to receive. The wishbone offense set up by quarterback Bobby Lamb handed off to his fullback Tony Smallwood to start the football game. Not much there for Smallwood. On the second play, Lamb faked it, pitched it back to Delano White. White picked up three or four yards before being knocked down on the outside by the Green County defensive back. Lamb's third down pass fell incomplete and the Tigers' first drive of the night went nowhere. The punt came down to Green County and they would set up shop with 8.22 to go in the first quarter. Green County came in with some tremendous running backs. Willie Hill was a quarterback. James Seed Miller, the tailback. Fred Terrell, the All-Stater, also at halfback. And the big fullback, Pete Thornton. Green County moved the ball rather well against Commerce in the opening minutes of their drive as Hill would fake it inside and keep the ball outside for a yard or two gain. Hill's pass intended for Nikita Peaks fell incomplete and Green County had to punt the football. Commerce got the ball back with 5.56 to go in the first quarter and started on their initial touchdown drive. Delano White picking up three yards on a trap play. Lamb faked it inside, kept it over the right side for three or four yards before being knocked down by a host of Green County tacklers. Lamb faked the two running backs. Looked downfield, saw his big tight end, Terry Howard. A good play by Terry Howard, keeping the ball and staying inbounds. Lamb then handed off to Taylor Rucker on a trap play to bring up second down and long for the Tigers. Faked to Delano White. Rolled to his right. Looked downfield, saw his brother, Hal Lamb, all alone in the end zone. The Tigers from Commerce had struck pay dirt. A 34-yard touchdown pass from Bobby Lamb to Hal Lamb. Lamb would hold. Todd Lord would kick the PAT, and the Tigers were on top 7 to nothing. On the ensuing kickoff, Green County unable to grasped a hold of the football and they finally fell on it and had to start off deep in their own territory. Fred Terrell, the All-Stater, took the ball around the right side for three or four yards. And then Seed Miller kept it on the left side for a couple of yards. Third down for Green County, saw Willie Hill hand off to Terrell and Terrell picked up 17 yards before being pushed out of bounds. This time, as Terrell tried to get yardage, Daniel Ford was there to knock him down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. 
Hill's pass intended for Nikita Peaks fell incomplete. Bringing up third down for Greene County. But Thornton, the fullback, kept the ball off the left side for a first down. Hill set Green County up again. Looked to his left, threw it out here in the flat, intended for James Seed Miller, but the ball fell incomplete. Hill trying to fake the draw play and keep it outside but Daniel Ford and Clay Hendricks knocked him down as the first quarter came to an end. Commerce on top, seven to nothing. Just to start the second quarter, Green County punted the football to the Tigers. After a personal foul penalty against Green County, Commerce sets up shop first and 10 deep in Green County territory. Coach Ray Lamb's offense has always relied heavily on the fullback. This year was no exception. This year there was big Tony Smallwood. The first play from scrimmage, Smallwood picks up good yardage. The second play was a pitch back to Clark Williams. He was knocked out of bound after a short gain, and then Smallwood went back to work. Lamb handing off to Tony off the right side. Again off the right side to Smallwood for 15 yards. Smallwood off the left side for seven yards down inside the five-yard line. Lamb takes a snap, hands it off to Smallwood again. Smallwood edging closer and closer to the goal line. Then Lamb faked to Smallwood, kept off the right side for the score. The Tigers on top, 13 to nothing. Again, Todd Lord with the PAT making the score 14 to nothing with 8.47 to go in the first half. Green County trying to get something going against the tough commerce defense. But on the second play from scrimmage, the pass from Hill tipped by Seabolt, picked off by Taylor Rucker. Commerce again in business deep in Green County territory, already leading 14 to nothing. Lamb again going to the big fullback Smallwood for six yards off the left side. Off the right side with the running back, Tim Pritchett, Nathan Anderson, Daniel Ford, Brian Hill, and Clay Hendricks opening up a gaping hole. On third down and short, Lamb looking downfield for receiver. Unable to find one on the right side, came back to the left. Spotted how Lamb opened briefly, but Lamb just unable to make the catch for the first down. Fourth down and short. Coach Ray Lamb gambling early in the ball game, going for the first down. Lamb drops straight back, throws across the middle for Smallwood, incomplete, and Green County takes over on downs with five minutes and 55 seconds to go in the half. First play from scrimmage, Willie Hill to James Seed Miller. Deep in Tiger territory for a first down. Miller off the left side for three yards. Hill across the middle intended for Peaks, knocked down by Clark Williams. Hill again looking out in the flat, finds James Seed Miller Picks up enough yardage for a first down. Fred Terrell, the All-State running back, off the right side for 17 yards and another first down for Green County.
things were starting to look up for Greene County as they were threatening deep in Tiger territory until Tony Smallwood came barreling through to knock Miller down for a loss. And then a busted play as the snap from center was fumbled by Willie Hill. Then on fourth down and goal, Hill rolls back, knocked down for a big loss by Smallwood. The Commerce defense had held again. Lamb to Smallwood on the first play off the left side. The second play, he faked it to Smallwood, gave it to Delano White off the right side for good yardage. Lamb fakes to Smallwood, throws deep downfield, intended for White, incomplete. The ball falls out of bounds. Lamb on a quarterback draw off the right side. Picks up two or three yards before being knocked down by a host of Greene County tacklers. The first half nearing a close with the Tigers on top, 14 to nothing. Commerce takes that halftime lead of 14 to nothing into the dressing room, and as the second half began, Todd Lord toes it up and kicks it out of the end zone. Greene County takes over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. The Commerce defense had been the stalwart all year long. This game would be an example of how the Commerce defense had played, equal from end to end and back to back. Clark Williams would be in on 10 tackles in this championship game. Terry Howard in on seven. Daniel Ford, Tony Smallwood, Tim Pritchett in on eight. Brian Hill on nine. Brett Haggard on four. Taylor Rucker in on three. Vaughn Howington in on five, Clay Hendricks in on seven. An equal defense that was equal to the task in this state championship game. Hill fakes the two running backs. Fades back and throws a pass deep downfield. The pass is knocked down, incomplete. Green County trying to move the ball against Commerce. Hill flares a little pass out for Seed Miller, and Miller picks up another first down for Green County. Hill rolls to the right, again finds Miller, and Miller all the way down the sideline before being knocked out of bounds by Clark Williams. Green County again threatening to score, but a penalty marks him back five yards. Hill keeps the ball off the right side for four yards, then drops straight back with a pass play across the middle, intercepted by Clark Williams at the goal line. Clark Williams down the sideline, down inside Greene County territory before he's knocked down by James Seed Miller. A fumble, but Commerce recovers. Commerce threatening again deep in Greene County territory, already leading 14 to nothing. Lamb lost five yards on the first play, then pitches it back to Delano White, and White sweeps the right side for seven yards. Third down for the Tigers. Lamb fakes a small wood, rolls back, looks downfield, finds Delano White all alone in the end zone for another Tiger touchdown. Todd Lord would kick the PAT and Commerce would be on top 21 to nothing. Todd Lord, just a freshman, he attempted 45 PATs during the season. He connected on 37. Also, Lord kicked off 78 times during this championship year with the opponent taking the ball on the average at the three yard line.
Fred Terrell gets the ball from quarterback Hill and picks up a first down for Greene County. Hill with a pass across the middle for Nikita Peaks was complete. Again, Fred Terrell inside for four or five tough yards. Fred Terrell would carry the ball 14 times in this championship game and would gain 106 yards, definitely living up to his All-State status. Hill attempting a pass for James Seed Miller, picked off at the line of scrimmage by Big Terry Howard. One of three interceptions on the night for the Commerce Tigers. Commerce with the football again. Lamb fakes it inside, keeps it outside for good yardage, then pitches back to Delano White for an additional seven yards. White again picks up two tough yards on the Green County defense. Lamb with a pass across the middle for Terry Howard. Commerce driving again on Green County. Lamb fakes a small wood, keeps it off the left side, eyes the goal line, dives for it and makes it. Another touchdown for the Commerce Tigers. Todd Lord kicks the PAT. Commerce out on top, 28 to nothing. Bobby Lamb had a hand in all four touchdowns for the Tigers on this championship night, running for two and passing for two. Green County. Green County had the football as we begin the fourth quarter of play, but they trail the Commerce Tigers by four touchdowns, much to the delight of the Commerce fans. Seed Miller kept it off the left side for four or five quick yards and then came up the middle with the football for a first down for Green County. The quick pitch outside to Fred Terrell Terrell picks up good yardage on the left side. Daniel Ford making a key defensive play for the Tigers on that particular play. Fred Terrell busts a tackle at the line of scrimmage, keeps it outside for 18, 19, 20 yards. Seed Miller trying to reverse, but Tim Pritchett there to knock him down. Personal foul also added on against the Commerce Tigers, giving Green County good field position. Willie Hill finds Nikita Peaks for a first down. The quick pitch back to Miller, and Miller picks up four yards. Then a long pass complete at the goal line to Nikita Peaks. Green County with the football at the goal line. Fred Terrell off the right side gets in for the score. Green County finally on the board. They would go for two. Hill rolls to his right. Looks in the end zone and finds Seed Miller for the two point conversion. Commerce 28, Green County 8. Green County attempting an onside kick, but the Commerce linemen were there to make the recovery. A nifty run by Delano White, then a fumble, and Green County had a chance to recover, but Fred Terrell unable to pick it up. Commerce recovered the loose football. 
Lamb fakes to his running back. Rolls around trying to find a receiver, can't do it, and Fred Terrell, among other Green County tacklers, are there to stop him. Green County didn't stop Bobby Lamb too often on this night, though. Lamb completing five of eight passes for 109 yards and two touchdowns. Just four minutes to go in the ball game. The Commerce Tigers could smell a state championship. Willie Hill finds Nikita Peaks, a first down for Greene County. Willie Hill, on what turned out to be a controversial play and a touchdown for Greene County, left the ball laying on the ground. The guard picks it up and scampers into the end zone for the score. Hill again trying to pass into the end zone for the two-point conversion. This time it's knocked down, and Commerce remains on top 28-14 to with three minutes to go in the football game. Green County recovered an onside kick and has the football trying to drive again against the Commerce defense. Hill rolls to his right, looks for a receiver, being pressured by Terry Howard, throws it out of bounds, incomplete. Hill, a pass on the left side, complete to James Seed Miller, and Miller knocked down after a four or five yard gain. This pass complete to Nikita Peaks for a first down for Green County. Green County still on the drive. Some irate Tiger fans very happy about this state championship win. Delano White keeps the ball off the right side for three or four yards, then comes back to the left for three or four more. White would carry the ball 12 times tonight for 78 yards, and he also caught a touchdown pass from Bobby Lamb. White again off the right side for seven, eight, nine yards before being knocked down by the Greene County Tacklers. But that was the final play of the football game, the 1981 state championship clash between Greene County and Commerce. Commerce wins it 28 to 14.